wanna smoke, I don't need a drink. Just tell me how you feel, tell me what you think. Maybe you weren't the one for me. But deep down, I wanted you to be. Talk is over, baby, let's just vibe. And love is over, baby, in my Hey guys, it's your girl Lorena. Welcome back to my channel. And so for today's video, what I have for you guys is a uh, high school freshman advice. If you guys do not know, I am a sophomore. Yes, I'm halfway there, halfway through high school. Oh yikes. Transitioning from middle school to high school was like a lot first of all because like personally like this the high school was a lot a lot bigger than my middle school the block schedule which is like a day and b day you have four classes on one day and then the other four on the other day so like yeah and i didn't have that in middle school so like that kind of just like made my schedule a little bit weird like i joined a lot more organizations and like more homework came along and all that good stuff but yeah so basically these are just some tips things that I learned slash wanted to know before I went into high school so basically the first thing that you probably hear a lot like not even like on YouTube anymore but like just overall everywhere be yourself, and I can't stress that enough. Stay true to yourself, be yourself, you know, do what makes you happy in every way possible. Like, start acting like someone else, or like, you start, like, changing just for someone else, like, to please them. That's obviously eventually gonna get boring, and like, people aren't gonna like you for it, and people are gonna start noticing, and they're all gonna be like, what the heck, like, why is she acting like this, or why is he acting like this, you know? Be yourself that's the one thing to do always 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 just be yourself the second thing make new friends i know that's kind of scary because i was scared like really really scared to make new friends but honestly it, like it helps so much like find out who you really are like it helps you get new opportunities it helps you open new doors it helps you make new experiences I don't know but yeah and like along with that like it just kind of goes in like into the same group join organizations or like sports or anything because that's where like you will eventually make more friends than what you already have or like want or something personally i'm in an organization called skills usa and basically like last year i joined i do not regret it one bit it's such an amazing opportunity for you and I made so so many new friends and like most of them were seniors and like they're gone now and like it's like you know it was sad when they left but like some people are still there they're literally my family like I, we got so close we're being like so weird around each other and it's so so fun and then like no matter what there's always tears joys memories laughter like it's amazing you it's like unbelievable the bond that we have but make new friends i know like it could be kind of hard because like you know from middle school to high school you probably like won't know anybody or like anything like that so they probably had a rough day or probably just don't really know anybody there you know they're hoping for that one hey that one hello and like you know you could be that one hey or that one hello and make their make their day you know be their first friend you know like you never know so okay another one that i have i still have trouble doing this but balance your social life and your schoolwork yeah in my middle school they didn't really give us homework but like in high school they did and i had so much trouble balancing like my social life with like schoolwork because like they would give me packets on top of packets on top of packets don't want to like go out like all day but i'm just like no i have homework and like you don't want to be like a hundred percent in your social life and then like 
not doing so well in your school life but you don't also want to be like all about your schoolwork. like that's good but like not too much like oh my gosh like no i have to finish this i have to do this i have to do this like forget about my friends like no like balance it out the way where you feel comfortable to the point where you're like okay like this is gonna work out like probably do your homework in the morning on saturday mornings do your do all of your homework the rest of the weekend just hang out with friends and stay at home and read or like whatever you want to do really but like try to balance it out that really helps a lot we're about to get real personal up in here guys but like a personal story is that i at freshman year i stayed after school just to hang out with my friends like i would do that like i started doing that and i realized it because i when i got home it was already like 6 30 and like i wouldn't get none of my homework done well i would but like really really late like around 12 1 in the morning i stopped staying after school only when it was necessary like for tutoring or for you know practice for my organization or anything like that have your schoolwork under control and your social life also under control but like balanced out ish you know balanced out then you're good then you're fine all right here's where it gets like tough tough like don't be afraid to say yes or no <laughs> don't be afraid to say yes to new opportunities and new friends and new like relationships new friendships new teachers new whatever but also if you don't feel comfortable with something don't be afraid to say no this goes back to be yourself and staying true to yourself if you don't feel comfortable with something don't be afraid to say no also just because one of your friends doesn't like something but you do don't be afraid to go for it if it makes you happy if you want to do this go for it like forget about their opinion just i know that's hard it's easier said than that but like you know you know don't be afraid to join things don't be afraid to open new friendships new doors for yourself if your friends want to say that's lame then that's on them this is for you guys for you not for them but for you so like me I don't want to let anybody down nor do I want to seem like a bad person so it's really hard for me to say no but recently I just been on my game I've changed so much over the summer and I've been realizing and experiencing so many new things it's just my sophomore year imagine like junior year or senior year like that's two more years yikes I can honestly say I feel so much and way more happier than my freshman year just because of that I wasn't afraid to say yes and I wasn't afraid to say no that really helped me improve a lot only in my school work but in my social life I got rid of people that I did not like what they were doing I did not appreciate how they were treating me or anything like that so I just cut them off and I was just like listen you know I don't want this relationship this friendship to be toxic I don't want for you to like go through bad things with me or me to go through bad things so let's just end it here on good terms let's just not say a word to each other anymore you go on living by your life you know you can be happy doing whatever you want to be doing and I'll be happy with whatever I want to be doing I can honestly say that I'm happy with the friendships that I have right now <laughs> you guys know who you are you guys know who you are five I think we're on the fifth one I think we're on the fifth one yeah make other people feel welcomed as a girl from experience the first day of my freshman year i walked into my class and there was nobody that i knew there and i was so scared and i just didn't want to be there i just wanted to be with my friends like the ones who actually went to that school and i was all like you know what like uh maybe this one isn't for me like i don't know how i feel about this like i really did not know anybody in my first or second period i was like oh my gosh i'm gonna have so much trouble fitting in because like at least everyone in that classroom at least knew someone else and i was the only one who pretty much didn't know anybody i felt really really left out like started having all these thoughts and process and everything i was just like Ugh. but then i met my friend alexia and like we started talking she was really open 
like she made me feel welcomed and everything and then after that she started introducing me to everybody else and then I started talking to everybody else and it was just it was really great and now like at, by the end of the year we were all a big happy family and like our friendship like our whole classroom had such a such such a strong bond with each other it really really like helped not only me but I, I can tell they helped a lot of them open up and everything make sure you guys make other people know that they're welcomed and that it's okay to be here and that they'll get through it and that they'll be okay make them feel loved make them feel like they're appreciated even if you don't know them like you never know what they've been through like sooner or later they'll reveal their true colors to you if like you know if you let them in and accept them for who they are you never know if they're having like a rough day you never know if like in the morning they miss their bus or something you just you just don't know and it's always, always a good thing to make them feel welcome, to make them feel like, yes, you belong here, like, welcome to the family, you know, you know? It could be as little as giving them a compliment, like, oh my gosh, I like your outfit, like, hey, nice hair, like, I like it, I like your style, I like your shoes, bro, like, I like your eyes, like, it could be as little as that to make someone's day. Make them feel welcomed. Alright, number six. <laughs> Transitioning from middle school to high school can be hard and you kind of have these thoughts processing and everything. Try your hardest to go in with positive thoughts, a positive mindset. Um, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I did not have that as you guys heard in the previous one. I did not have a positive mindset. Thankfully, my best friend got accepted into the same school that, I, that I'm going to, so we're like together and... It's like, it's great, but but I didn't have her for any of my classes. I take her to school in the morning, and then she takes me back home in the afternoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they kind of have that routine going on. But this year, my sophomore year, we don't have any classes together, and that sucks. We don't even have lunch together. Like, it doesn't feel the same, because last year we had one class together, but in that class, it was so strict that we couldn't even sit together. We couldn't even talk or anything, so like, yeah, that was kind of just there. But we had a class together. I ramble too much. Oh my god. Try to go in with the best positive mindset. Like, today's gonna be a good day. I know it is. I know it's gonna be a good day. I can feel it. Like, it's okay. It's gonna be alright. But don't, like, don't get your hopes way so high. Because personally, I don't like that. Because once I get my hopes too high, something happens and it just, like, tears down the whole thing. I'm just like... Go in with a positive mindset, like, today's gonna be a good day, like, I'm gonna get my work done, I'm gonna, you know, have new friends, I'm gonna meet new people, you know, it's gonna be a new experience for me, and whatnot. You know, very chill vibes here. One thing, don't worry about groups, if you know what I mean. High school, like I said, was a lot bigger than my middle school. Like, 10 times bigger than my middle school and I saw all these groups and hangouts like that people were having and like I said I did not know anybody a few of my friends go there but we all are like in different clusters don't worry so much about groups don't worry so much about fitting in eventually you'll know where you belong eventually and it, it doesn't matter if it takes until like senior year or junior year if you find it right away. Like everyone has a specific time for themselves to find out where they fit in, to find out like who their true friends are and everything. So do not worry about groups. What's so cool about a group anyways? You're just like with the same people 24-7. Like no, go out and explore. Go out and make new friends. Go out and find new people. You know, just overall, you don't know how that person is until you've met them yourself or until like you start talking to them and like you have their own vibe and like you feel you know their, their energy towards you and like they can figure energy towards them along with that group thing people change in high school i can honestly say that i've changed since my freshman year at middle school i've changed so much and i've changed so like drastically my eighth grade self would not know who i am it's a good thing and i like it i've grown to be more independent 
personally my parents know my parents have noticed like my family has noticed I've just been growing more independent and more for myself and I've been doing a lot more things for myself and guys it's okay for you for you to change it's okay if you don't like something about yourself like you don't like how your hair is too long or if you know if you're always constantly wearing black or like or something like that or you don't like the way that you do your makeup or something and you want to try something new but you're scared of what people might say just forget about them I know it's easier said than done again do whatever makes you happy people change all the time like even just a little bit like it can go from like their routine to like their outfits or like you know their sense of style if you want to change something about yourself to better yourself because you know it's going to help you then go for it why not it's amazing but also don't get mad when other people do the same thing because i've seen that a lot in high school people change and then people get mad no guys people are not gonna stay the same forever it's okay to change change is good i love change change is like amazing and i want people to know that because i know i i don't want to cry i'm not gonna cry but like i had this one experience where i did not feel comfortable in school anywhere really freshman year and i just I had a lot of mental breakdowns and I had a lot of, just a lot of, a lot of crying happen. Let's just say that. Before I start rambling and doing everything for too long, your girl is a rambler and a ranter and a, you, you know what I mean. Like, people who know me know I rant and like, I love to vent and everything. As long as they're comfortable with themselves, then it's okay for change. Basically, surround yourself with people who make you feel happy, people who are positive. Surrounding yourself with positive people will help you so much. Like you you guys don't even know how I helped me, but like surrounding yourself with positive people, positive thoughts and like positive things will happen in your life, I guarantee. Surround yourself with people who make you happy, who make you feel comfortable, who make you feel at home, who you know it's like is like going to be a chill dude or a chill girl. Like. Okay, so I think that's it i think that's it but i'm probably gonna think of more stuff after <laughs> while i'm editing this i'll be like dang i should have said that but for now this is all i have all i can think of that's all i can think of right now but if you guys want me to do more videos on like advice or like high school or middle school or any type of things like friends confidence peer pressure i don't know anything you guys want tweet me dm me snapchat me do that good stuff so i can do what you guys want to see i hope this guys helped you in some type of way and if you guys have any more video suggestions that you want me to do just leave them down below in a comment and i'll do them don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and i love you guys so 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 much and i hope to see your beautiful face in my next video Bye, guys.